dedicate this first formal day of construction, this groundbreaking ceremony, to the glory of God and for the benefit With those few words, Nigeria's Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo flagged off the construction work on the Lagos Ibadan Standard Gauge Rail Line with an extension to the country's largest seaport. The rail line is one of the most important infrastructure projects of the current government and would link two of Nigeria's largest cities. Our appreciation goes to the Chinese government and the Chinese Exim Bank, who are and have always proved to be reliable partners to Nigeria. And our ultimate goal is to restore a railway using culture, a railway using culture for both commercial and personal transportation. We are confident that the National Rail Project will create up to half a million jobs and facilitate the movement of over 3.2 million tons of cargo per annum. The $1.5 billion project is the outcome of a partnership between the Nigerian and Chinese governments, with funding coming from both sides. Chinese engineering firm CCECC has been saddled with the construction and is expected to complete work on or before December 2018. Our two countries, based on the principle of win-win cooperation and common prosperity, we are working together to steadily expand cooperation in various fields, to promote bilateral cooperation to a, high, to, to a higher level in 2017. And today's project is a very good start of this year. The Lagos Ibadan railway is not only connect two of the largest, largest cities in Nigeria, Lagos and Ibadan, but also another embodiment of close connection and friendship between China and Nigeria. When completed, the rail line will transport both commuters and cargo at a speed of 150 kilometers per hour, significantly cutting down travel time between Lagos and Ibadan from the current two and a half hours to less than an hour. It's also expected to boost economic activities in the southwest of Nigeria and ease the population burden of the country's commercial capital, as well as ease the pressure on the road linking both cities. We are excited about this project because it will further open up the economy of the southwest region and facilitate regional integration and growth. The agricultural sector will receive a long-awaited boost as this rail line will be a fast and convenient means of transporting farm produce from the hinterlands to the city, thereby increasing the economies of these places. The Nigerian railway died a long time ago, but it is now being seriously revived. This is one project everyone had been looking forward to. Its economic impact is enormous, and it's a signature project of the Buhari administration, and it is one project it cannot afford to let fail. Deji Badmos, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.